In this problem, we have a stationary target car being struck at 2 meters per second by 1 kilogram cart. And the weird thing about this one is there's some energy loss. 25% of the energy is going to be lost, but they don't necessarily stick together. So this is called a partially elastic collision. In real life, the idea of a perfectly elastic collision is not really that realistic. I think most elastic collisions are only partially elastic. So let's get into the analysis. Momentum is conserved during this collision. So I can write down one kilogram times two meters per second equals one kilogram times V1 final plus 0.5 kilograms V2 final. Multiplying by two to clean it up, I get four equals two V1 final plus V2 final. And we'll need that for later, so I left it in a box. And then we're going to do the energy analysis. And what I know about energy is that 25% of it disappears in this process. So I'm going to start by saying K final, the final kinetic energy, must only be 75% of the original. And then I'll throw in all the details of K final. That's 1 half times 1 kilogram mass moving at V1 final squared plus 1 half times a 0.5 kilogram mass moving at V2 final squared. And that's all equal to 0.75 times the original energy, which is 1 half times a 1 kilogram mass moving at 2 meters per second squared. I'd like to clean this up by getting rid of units and getting rid of fractions and decimals. First off, I can get rid of a 1 half from every term. And then I'm going to multiply by 2 to get rid of decimals. So I have 2v1 final squared plus v2 final squared equals, over on the right-hand side, 1 and a half. That's 2 times 0.75 times 2 squared, which is 4. So 1 and a half times 4 is 6. And I've got my second equation. Now this is just an algebra problem. So I have a system of equations, 2v1 two two final plus v2 final equals 4 and 2v1 final squared plus v2 final squared equals 6. So one way to handle this is to use substitution, taking the first equation and solving for v2 final, and then plugging that in for v2 in the second equation. And when I do that, I get 2v1 final squared plus v2 final all squared, well, that's 4 minus 2v1 final all squared. It's got to be equal to 6. So I expand that squared binomial. And I'm just thinking about FOIL in my head here. I'm multiplying this binomial by itself, and I get 16 minus 8 times v1 final for one of the cross terms, and then there's another one, so minus 16 v1 final and then plus 4 v1 final squared equals 6. It looks like I could divide a 2 out of this and I'm going to combine like terms while I'm doing that. So a little risky, but I have 6 v1 final and I'm going to divide by 2. So I get 3 v1 final squared. And then I have um, subtracting 6 from both sides, a 10 on the left hand side, but that's divided by 2. And I moved everything to the left, so there's a 0 left over. And then finally, the linear term, I divided by 2, so that's minus 8. V1 final. If we're lucky, we might be able to factor this thing. If it factors, the two binomials it factored into would start this way. And let's see, I could do a negative 5 and a negative 1. I think that works. I get 3v1 final squared minus 3 times v1 final minus 5 times v1 final. So the cross term works. Plus 5. Cool. So I get two possible solutions. v1 final is either 1 meter per second or v1 final is 5 thirds 
meters per second. And I'm trying to figure out which one makes sense. And to figure it out, I'm going to have to find the V2s corresponding to these V1s. So I go back here to where I subbed in V2 final. It's 4 minus 2 times V1 final. So 4 minus 2 would be 2 meters per second. I don't see any problem with that answer. Just to be extra thorough, let's find V2 final corresponding to my second solution. 4 minus twice this. So it would be 4 minus 10 thirds. So 4 is 12 thirds. Minus 10 thirds is 2 thirds meters per second. And here's where we see the problem. And I can tell which solution is non physical. In this second solution, I have a V1 final that's actually bigger than V2 final. Well, that's impossible unless the car on the left actually went through the car on the right and is now taking off faster than the car on the right is moving. So this is a non-physical solution. And my actual solution to the problem is given by these really nice numbers. V1 final is 1 meter per second. V2 final is 2 meters per second. Now, a really th smart thing to do in a problem like this would be to check that you actually end up with the same amount of momentum in the final state that you started with. And that if you compare the energy in the initial and final state, you only have 75% the initial amount. 